Hello Redditors of the Internet, Noble Zeon here and welcome back to another Reddit video and today we will be looking at r slash just neckbeard things part 26. Let's get started. This first one is a review that still has the OP shock to this day. Total amateur. Her primary job is receptionist, bookkeeper, record keeper for a busy doctor's office. Does massage as a side business while on duty. Very cold personality, little skill, just goes through the motion, clock watcher. Dated pick made to look provocative, expensive for actual services, no shower available. She should stay with her primary job. And Caroline replies, John, this is quite confusing as I never treated you. I remember you though, my clients are typically very kind and professional. I let you keep your appointment after saying a rude comment to me in Messenger how I should wear cute provocative and then coming very late. I denied your hug and after you realized I was a professional, even saying out loud, how professional, you left realizing you weren't going to get a happy ending. Why, months later, you would try to discourage my business that I run to get me through school is beyond me. I don't usually bother my regular clients to write reviews, but they affirmed to me that I am the opposite of all the things you listed. So strange. That comment he made in Messenger was a massive red flag, you should have cancelled the appointment right there. This neckbeard is just a straight up creep. Moving on. This next one is a Tinder profile that will certainly attract miladies. It's an application for a girlfriend, sounds very romantic. General information, weight, height, and age. The breast size options are massive, pretty big, average, small, and not applicable. Ethnicity options are blonde or exotic looking. Do you have any piercings or tattoos? If yes, where? And your first name, which really should be right at the top, but you know where this guy's priorities are when the first name is way below the breast size. Relationship experience, please list previous boyfriends starting with the most recent, and make sure to provide name, annual income, reason for leaving, and still obsessed? Number of men you say you've slept with, actual number of men you slept with, number of women you've slept with. I have children, yes or no. I often burst into tears over meaningless events, yes or no. I have a weird scar or birthmark. I have male friends who actively try to sleep with me. I have or ever had an STD. I call my mom more than once a week. I want to get married in the next five years. And the last one's kind of hard to read, but you kind of know where it's going based on those last two words. Finally, we can get to the actual profile itself. He works at the Royal Bank, goes to the University of Milady, lives in his mom's basement, and is 28 kilometers away. I'm sick of wasting all my great pickup lines. Please fill out the application and we will see how things go. If you swipe right, I'll swipe right. Honestly, what's the worst that could happen? Please feel free to ignore the weight question as a gentleman never asks a girl's weight. Oh, what a gentleman not asking her for her weight after an entire freaking application. This next one must be a next level chess tutorial because the white knight goes from the board into the comment section. Unlike you filthy heathens, I'm not here just to gawk at her body. However, it is magnificent, milady. I'm simply here to enjoy a chess tutorial. Actually, I don't think that was white knighting, but he did say milady. This next one is a cross post from r slash that happened. Her profile is a gold mine for stuff like this, so we are looking at a leg beard instead of a neck beard here. Me, sitting on the couch minding my own business. My sister's friend gently brushes his hand against my thigh looking at me directly to see if I notice and then suddenly jerks back. Me, what was that all about? Him, what was on the outside of your thigh? Me, lifts up my dress revealing my blade and its sheath strapped around my thigh. Him, moves to the other couch. A rare case of milady studying the blade. But there is some extra context on why the OP ended the friendship. This is how she acted all the time. She always pretended to be more hardcore than what she really was. If I remember correctly, she had no blade and never owned one. She was just saying that to make herself seem cool. This next one is the ultimate guide to becoming a neat. Enlightened neat pill. Understands the true beauty of taking it really, really easy. 
isn't perturbed by messy rooms, dirty rags, or smelly pee bottles, distrusting of all wage slavery, remembers life before he became true neat, doesn't miss it, prophetic, knows the end game of life, doesn't care, www, no longer concerned with income, only taking it easy, job prospects no longer matter, society's expectations no longer register, only easiness, can handle that easy life, incapable of getting seriously employed, take it easy, and there is the super easy aura preventing any wage slavery. For this next one, all the miladies can just sit back and let the words serenade you. Hello to you, how are you at the beginning of this week? Your night is okay? I hope she was relaxing for your bye. One word comes to my mind when I look at this ravishing publication as always. It's always a pleasure to be able to enjoy and look at each of these photos you make us. I cannot help but tell me that it is a chance you can follow you throughout the year and appreciated your photos as the first day. Because each of them goes back and warms my heart. Your kindness, your generosity, your beauty that life deserves beautiful and if possible without much problem. It is also for you that I have hung on this page, your fight and noble. I can support you wholeheartedly with you. My quote for today, we do not make history. This is a story that makes us. On this quote, I wish you to spend the most beautiful day, hoping that the coffee is perfect. Good day to you, with a bunch of hearts at the end. This next one is The Perfect Boyfriend cross-posted from r slash I'm very badass. Hello, a-hole. Huh? Don't question mark me. If you talk to my girlfriend like that ever again, you'll get to see the demon inside me. Don't mess with me. I will ruin your life. Ha ha ha, you're normal, mate? Reveals teeth, showing four big fangs. What are you laughing at, little boy? Ooh, fake fangs. Very scary. This next one is a neckbeard who respects little girls and miladies. I fear a drinking game for every time I say the word milady might actually kill some people. But anyway, on to the actual post. And there is the artwork of a girl looking quite adorable, and in the comments section, the neckbeard says, Looks like Christmas came early this year, and so did I. A lot of people saying it's a joke, but I don't find it very funny myself. This next one is a pro gamer, watch out, this dude has over 8,000 gamer score and is in the pro zone so you know you can't mess with him. And he sent a message too. Hi, few things to start off with. One, yes I added you because you're a female gamer, tis an awesome thing to see. Two, I'm Brian. Three, don't be intimidated, but I'm not a stereotypical guy, if anything, I'll be the one in the kitchen. Attention all childbearing aged white women out there, we have a guy looking for women to bear children in Medford. I am a 55 year old man looking to find women, Caucasian preferred, of child barring years to bear my children. I am separated and looking to become a dad. She must be attractive and around 125 pounds, must be in good physical health, you must not drink or smoke, past or present, or do drugs. As a bonus, she should also be able to butcher the English language just like me. This next one is writing in all caps and just needs to chill. You know what? Screw you. Screw it. Screw female. Screw the entire goddamn mother and gender on your grandmother, your aunt, your sister. You hate her to yeah. I freaking do. I don't give a crap about you, about my paternal grandmother or my freaking sister. Females are responsible for every freaking thing in the world. Who races most criminals? Females. Who's most screwed in the head? Females. In earliest assault the women were dressed freaking perverse so they freaking asked for it during medieval times in the 1800s hundreds higher class foids would openly brag and peasants face proudly they asked for the assault they freaking orgasmed didn't freaking they females don't deserve law protection that hard r n word monkey cleopatra by the way i need you to do a few things first you gotta chill second you gotta turn off your caps lock once in a while and third you might want to get a history book because the medieval times were nowhere near the 1800s dude 
This next one is titled, Human Civilization Has Failed. I drew this ahegao on one of those communion wafers and put it on my tongue. What? All I can ask is why. Also, brush your tongue, it looks disgusting. This next one is a video, Neckbeard doing what neckbeards do. Watch the full thing. Ooh, I'm about to go off on this comment. Alright, let's read the comment. You could easily talk to girls and have female friends, but if you talk to women like they're objects, then yeah, you're gonna be really lonely. I haven't talked to my female friends in a while because they don't take advantage of me anymore and I had to learn the hard way. You don't know how many papers I've written, how many rides I've given, uh, meals I've purchased. Yeah, I stopped uh, being the friend uh, and getting nothing in return. Well, yeah, it's not really a friendship then if you're always expecting things in return. Anyway, on to the really neckbeardy stuff. Now when they call me up and they want to talk on the phone for more than mm, like seven or eight minutes or, you know, they want to watch a movie or something, I'm like, I, I make sure I'm upfront about it. I'm like, yeah, where I'm, you're sitting closer to me on the couch. Um, we're cuddling or like, like you're, I'm getting something out of it. Okay. Okay. So this dude is basically acting like a textbook nice guy thinking companionship is supposed to be a transaction. He's even got it down to the number of minutes a phone call needs to be before he starts expecting things in return. Obviously, people are just gonna find that weird. So no wonder you haven't spoken to your female friends in so long. This next one was on Omegle. This happened on question mode. Yeah, you're chatting with a random stranger. Say stand with Hong Kong against the CCP. Question to discuss. Why do older women like to ridicule and attack younger women that like or date older men? Do you think it's justified? Well, it's because women are scum. B? You can be sure all those older women used to drool over older men when they were young, but hypocrisy is just a natural state of the femoid animal. What the hell happened to you, buddy? Their existence has exactly one justification. To breed. But these days they reject motherhood. Women are a net loss. Dude, you freaking neckbeard looking butt. They should be killed off. What the actual cluck? I'm putting this on r slash just neckbeard things. This whole idea that women deserve to be treated like they're fully human is delusional. They're F meat. Anyone who believes otherwise needs professional help. Stranger has disconnected and thank God for that. Now you can charge your phone because it's at 5%. This next one is titled, This is About Characters from a Disney Video Game. They're 15! So, about the age humans are biologically wired to find most attractive in females. Ironically, also the age Puritan Americans work themselves up most over denying they are attracted to. Then, after a day of virtue signaling to feel good about themselves, they go search for teens on the hub. What? You know that drinking game we were talking about earlier? Well, you don't even have to worry about paying it if you're my lady because this guy can offer you the drinks with a tip of the fedora, of course. This next one is a man of culture, I see. Good night. I'm sorry, my lady, but I have to unfollow you for one month for No Nut November. Wish me luck. And then yesterday, I'm back with a vengeance for Destroy D December. This next one is titled When My Lady Has Facial Hair. Hi. Hey, who's this? Um, <clears throat> it's Brandon from class, sweating profusely. Um, I think you have the wrong number there, buddy. Looks down at the ground, twirling thumbs. Shannon g gave me your number. Oh, that's cool, but you have the wrong number. I'm a 25-year-old man. Come on, it's Brandon from Econ. I asked Shannon for your number. Let's hang out, hand itching to unzip pants. Brandon, you have the wrong number. I'm not a woman. I literally have a mustache. And the neckbeard sends a D pic, and the other guy sends a pic of himself with his mustache. Oh, you poor, poor man. No. Yes. This next one's titled, We Live in a Society. 
consume the CGI characters that were focus grouped to trigger your human nurture response with their big wide set eyes and infant like ineptitude. Let the pixels make you have an emotional response. Buy the subscription to the billion dollar streaming service built on slavery. This guy just screams r slash I'm very smart. This next one is a perfect gift for a neckbeard this Christmas. It is a Senpai Ahegao PlayStation 4 custom airbrush controller, and you can see right now all of those faces on the controller, and the price? $120. So you already know this one is only for the pro gamers. This last one is looking for an attractive female weeb. As you know, I'm an attractive male weeb, but I want to find someone who is an equal and deserves to be in my presence. So far, I've been only to find women who are either attractive or a weeb, but never both. When they're a weeb, they're ugly, and when they're attractive, they reject me. Please help me, GD. Where can I find an attractive female weeb? Anyway, I'd like to thank all of my patrons, especially Peter Dankledge and Seth Southwell. You can join in the link below, and thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like. If you have something interesting to say, don't forget to comment. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. See you guys next time.